Niagara Falls Mayor Jim Diodati joins us for his weekly update on his clean city, happy street sweeping season. Thank you very much, Bob the Builder. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I got I, the deck finished. I heard. Good for you. My what a gosh. vacation. Who can afford wood these days? Man, you know what? It's, you. it's crazy. Yeah. A lot of yeah. things we need to change and get out of this pandemic. And we're yeah. going to talk about that. But yeah, uh, street sweeping, actually, there's a lot of important things to know about this, right? Yeah. Thanks for mentioning that, Bob. Uh, yeah, we're blitzing the city over the next week. Uh, every day for the next week, we're going to be doing all the city streets and we want to keep the stones and, and the rubble out of the catch basins. So just a reminder to all of the viewers, please take your cars off the road, move your basketball and your hockey nets away from the side of the road so they can do a really good job. So the city will be spick and span. So that's going to be it's now right for the next week. OK, wanted to get that out there. Well, of course, our top story this morning, 18 plus in Ontario can uh, book a vaccine appointment. And uh, that's big news, of course, for the entire province, but particularly Niagara Falls. And actually, uh, the age range, a lot of the cases are in that 20 to 39 group. Yeah, and you know what? I've got three teenagers, so that'll cover two of my three, which is great because it's been the big question. You know, when are they going to get their turn? So that's great because, yeah, they're very social. And, and to ask teenagers to stay put for a year and a half is almost impossible. It's like mm -hmm. telling them sit still, you know. And, you know, when I was a kid, you know, my mom would say, you're going to upset the table, you know. And uh, the kids now <laughs> are going to have a problem. I never understood that. I thought upset. How do you upset a table? But I, I get it now. <laughs> uh, how, are things, how, how are things going with the clinics by the way really good you know yeah. it, it's good we're we're um uh, right around 50 percent now uh like the rest of the country's doing of the adult population which is great i mean we're canada's doing fantastic and and i'm so thrilled because here we are we're mid-may so this way before the summer we get the vast majority of people vaccinated we could start having a normal summer and we could start doing the things that we used to take for granted, like going to the movies, sitting yeah. on a patio, visiting friends and family. Are, are the supply issues OK? Um, because I know you've been talking to uh, the, your counterparts in um, Niagara Falls, New York and Buffalo as well about extra vaccine supply. The Americans are talking about donating supply. Yeah, so we, we need our federal counterparts to do their part to, to talk because they have, they've got a surplus in the United States. And I've been working with Mayor Dilkins in Windsor and the Detroit, his Detroit counterparts have offered to vaccinate uh, Windsor, Essex, pe Essex people. And I had the same discussion with Mayor Ray Stano, Niagara Falls, New York, and I uh, communicate with Mayor Brown in Buffalo. And they've done this in North Dakota for Manitoba and other Canadian places where they've got a vaccine. I'm sorry, surplus, we've got a need. Let's open up the borders and let's get more people vaccinated quicker. So we need our federal counterparts to do their thing. I know we've had Congressman Higgins, we've had yes. uh, Senator Schumer, we've had Governor Cuomo. They're all saying the same thing. So all we need is our federal counterparts to open up the gates and let us get these vaccines. Well, let's talk about that. Yeah, they've been very noisy and have been writing to Biden about uh, opening up because, you know, the Americans are in pretty good shape with the uh, vaccination rollout. And they say it's safe for Americans to uh, come our way and it doesn't pose a danger to us. Uh, but talks are underway right now. Uh, what are you hearing and what do you want to see? Well, you know, we're having great discussions right now because the numbers are all going in the right direction. And we know the border is going to open. We know the casinos are going to open. We just don't know exactly when and how. So we're asking the federal government, just show us the targets, the benchmarks. What are the metrics so we can work together to hit those targets safely? But it's coming. And there's even discussion around uh, vaccine passports as we get people double uh, vaccinated. So we're suggesting expand the list of essential workers and essential right. crossers because there are people that are going to be safe and we want to be able to start gradually opening up the border to our Can friends. Can you give some examples of that? Expanding yeah, that well, list? It, we've got a lot of people right now uh, here that have received that are, and are in the process of receiving their second vaccine. So once they've got the second vaccine, we, we don't understand why they wouldn't be allowed to cross because already 100,000 people cross at the land crossings every week, 100,000 people. So we're saying expand the list beyond just healthcare professionals and business people, but anyone that's been double vaccinated, I don't understand why we couldn't allow them to cross. Okay, before we go, uh, you opened up the farmer's market on the weekend. How'd it go? 
Really good. We had a record weekend. I'm glad you mentioned that. So every Saturday from 7 a.m. until 1 p.m. at the McBain Community Center, which is also a vaccination center, out in the parking lot. This is temporary until we open up and we're in the midst of building our brand new farmer's market and culture hub, which will open up next spring. So if you want to get some maple syrup, you want to get some plants for your garden, tomato plants, some local produce, flowers, all sorts of great things. And many of the vendors sold out as well. So I'd suggest get there early if you want to get some good farm fresh local food. Okay, well, uh, we use our uh, live weather shots often in Niagara Falls, and we're seeing a beautiful day today, and we'll talk to you next week. Uh, but uh, let's get to the Niagara Falls and beyond weather. Thank you, Mayor Diodati. <laughs> Welcome back, Bob.